just recently got my new air fryer in. If you weren't aware, Kasori had a huge recall and mine was part of it, so we were without an air fryer for a month and a half. But now that we've got our air fryer back, I'm ready to make all the things and I thought I would bring y'all along. So today's video is all air fryer recipes. They're all super easy because basically everything in the air fryer is. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. This first recipe we're making are just little zucchini bites. They would be perfect as a side for any dinner or you could just make them as a snack which is what we're doing right now. So I've got two zucchini here. We're just going to chop them up into a little less than an inch chunks so maybe three quarters of an inch so they're about this size and you know what i think i'm just gonna do the one zucchini because we are doing this as a snack and not as a side cole isn't here right now so it's just for me and steven but you could definitely use two we're just gonna add them to this small bowl here let's toss them with a little bit of olive oil we're gonna add some grated parmesan cheese obviously you could do fresh but since i have this on hand i'm just gonna Use this, maybe a tablespoon or so, maybe a couple of tablespoons if you have two zucchini. We're gonna do about a tablespoon of panko breadcrumbs, some salt and pepper, and just a little bit of basil and oregano. And one of you taught me to take the, um, dried herbs and just kind of do it in between your fingers and that helps to release the oils from it. I guess you get more flavor that way. I'm only doing like a half a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon. That's it, we're ready for the air fryer. So we are gonna preheat the air fryer to 400. So I'm just gonna hit preheat and it automatically knows 400 for five minutes. And just hit start. Okay, our air fryer is nice and hot. Let's take it out. We are gonna spray the bottom with a little bit of oil spray. I think mine is grapeseed oil is what I'm using. Dump our zucchini in. Oh, you hear that sizzle? And we'll kinda spread it out a little bit into one layer. And this is gonna go in at 400 for five to seven minutes. It's not gonna take long at all. The timer just went off. Oh man. That smells really good and they look so pretty. Let's give them a try. What's this? Look, we match. We both got green oh, on. Do. Ain't we cute? We are, what you got? Zucchini bites in the air fryer. Ooh, I've never been bitten by a zucchini before. This will be fun. Oh, wow, wow. It bit me. I thought he got burned or something. I believed him. Oh, boy. 23 years we've been married, and yep. I still fall for his stuff. Yep, that's how I operate. These look really good, though. Look at yeah. these seasonings out so there. So I, I got us some ranch in here, too, but okay. I want to try it without the ranch first. Yeah. Hang on. All right. Pink. Pink. Mm. Oh, yeah. You got some good seasonings on there. I sure do. Mm. Is that, what is that? Is that oregano? Is that thyme? Oregano, oregano and basil. Ooh, that is really delicious. Mm -hmm. Let's try a little bit of this ranch dressing. It don't need this, though, but we're just going to, yeah. just a little hint of ranch. I'm going to try it. I love ranch. <laughs> love, love, love these seasonings on there. What else is on there? Is it like a breading or something? Take your time, we'll wait. Da, na, 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 na. Panko breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese. Ah. Salt, salt and pepper. Ah, okay. Yep. Nice. I like that they're not completely coated. It's not like a, a breading on here. Mm. It's just some crumbs to give it some flavor. That's really good. Mm-hmm. I love that. Tad bit of a crunch, you know, from the yeah. al dente-ness mm -hmm. of the zucchini. It's not mush. Not for mush. Sure. It's super soft though. It's perfect texture. Yeah. Mm. Don't mind if I do. So good. Y'all gotta try that one. Okay, for our next air fryer recipe, I'm trying to do two things at once. We're gonna be making stuffed mushrooms in the air fryer. When Steven and I go out to dinner, one of our favorite appetizers is stuffed mushrooms. So 
we're gonna give it a try here at the house. So I just bought a small container of these little white button mushrooms. And what I'm gonna do is just remove the stems. I've already cleaned them all off. I don't have a whole lot, so this will just take a minute. Yeah, bitty. I want that big one right there. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just set these to the side while we mix up our mixture that's gonna go in there. I've got about six ounces of cream cheese. It just came out of the fridge, so I'm gonna pop it in the microwave just to soften it a bit. While our cream cheese is softening in the microwave, we need about three tablespoons of sour cream. We've got some chai. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got some chives here. I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up. This will be for when we are done. Okay, our cream cheese has softened. Let's add this over into our sour cream. Now, how do you feel about cream cheese? Um, listen, I'm not happy about this. Well, but you like it in appetizer stuff, like some dips and different things like that. Yeah. We shall see. We will put this to the test. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and then we're gonna add some seasonings. We're gonna add in about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Mm. Oh, that's a lot more. Oh, garlic. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. This is just to taste. Let's mix all of that up. Okay, now you're just gonna grab a spoonful. Let's go for the large one first. And we're just gonna stuff this right down in there and kind of just smooth it on top. And let's do that to all of these. Look at this little itty bitty one. Me. Oh my gosh. How you know you have been with someone for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Now that they're all full, we're gonna take this shredded cheese here and we're gonna pour it onto this plate. And we're gonna take each one. That way you get the cheese to stick. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of cheese. I like that. Heck yeah. <laughs> Have you met me? Piles up on there. Oh you. yeah. How are you gonna get the chive on there? I don't know, we'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, excuse me. My fingers are super sticky. <laughs> I think we're gonna put the chive on first. Yeah, we're gonna have to because I don't think they're gonna stay on these. So let's do that. Now, let's take this one. It's raining chives. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Boom. That's Look how we're going to do it. Look, here's the, here's the Big Mac over here. Yeah. Let's get him plenty of cheese. Big Mac sound good right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, we need more cheese. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's grab the air fryer. This basket is pretty large, so I think all of these are gonna fit in here at once. Perfection. Okay, let's slide these in. We're gonna go at 370 for eight to 10 minutes. One of them turned over, look at it. It had a bad day. We are man down, y'all. Still eat them. <laughs> okay, let's take these out. So Stephen is getting these out for us. He said it's like... It's like playing Operation. Remember the game Operation? That game gave me anxiety. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to touch the sides. <laughs> these look amazing. They smell so good. Just within the first <clears throat> couple of minutes of them being in the air fryer, we were like... <laughs> yeah, they smell really good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get a smaller one, I'm I think. I'm going to get a medium-sized one. Oh, yeah. Tink. Tink. Hot. Mm. Mm. Wow. That is good. Stuffed mushrooms at home. I know. In the air fryer. I know. These are the bomb. Yum. Wow. When he had turned off the camera earlier and I was mixing up the cream cheese, he was like, this is just going to taste like a bunch of cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> You get the cream, you get the, obviously the cream cheese, but the garlic flavor that's in there, mm -hmm. the onions, the chives mm -hmm. rather, and then that 
cheddar cheese on top, but that mushroom flavor. You better stick your hand back over here because I'm going to eat all these. Y'all, these are so good. <laughs> like, I expected them to be good, mm. but I don't know that I expected them to be this good. You know, I made a little thing of ranch dressing, just put a little a dab in there because... He I had was, his doubts. He had his doubts. Yeah, had my doubts, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it a little bit. Just to, just to try it. Just to try it. Okay. Is it better without it? Better without it. It is. It really is. You had your doubts. You were doubting me. I doubted a little bit. You know, cream cheese still bothers me a little bit. <laughs> we'll be back. We gotta eat. Yeah. We are done with our appetizer of the stuffed mushrooms. And oh my goodness, they were so good. But now we're ready for our main dish. And tonight we are just doing a very simple chicken sausage and veggies in the air fryer. We just got a little bit of chopping to do. Um, we're gonna chop up both of these bell peppers. You can use whatever color you'd like. We've got this zucchini. And I don't know if we'll use this whole red onion because it's rather large, but we're just going to chop all of this up. All of our veggies are cooked. Are cooked. I wish they were already <laughs> cooked. I wish we were done. They are chopped and now we're going to add them to a bowl and add some olive oil and toss it all around. Over here in this small bowl, we're gonna mix up all of our seasonings. I've got a little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna do maybe a teaspoon of that. The same amount of onion powder. Some Italian herbs. I've got this grinder that I got from Sam's Club. About a teaspoon of that as well. A little extra. And some salt and pepper. Now, let's just take it right over here. Sprinkle it over all of our veggies. Okay, let's do that. Toss. And the rest of it. Now we're gonna take our chicken sausage and just cut them into chunks as well. You can use whatever flavor you'd like. I'm using the Italian type, which should go really well with this. Now let's add all of the chicken sausage in with our veggies and toss it around. Woo! Thank you, good catch. All right, we're ready to go over to the air fryer. Let's go ahead and preheat this. Mine has the preheat button, but if you are, um, if you don't have the preheat button, just do it for five minutes at 400. Okay, it's done preheating. Let's take this over here, just set it down. We're gonna spray it with a little bit of oil. This is grapeseed oil. I've got this mister linked in my Amazon store. If you're looking for a good oil mister, this one is really great. And then we're just gonna take our veggies and our chicken sausage and dump it on in. Look, you cannot stay behind. There we go. This is gonna go in at 390 for 10 minutes. We will come in at the five minute mark and shake it. Do we forget to give you cheese? You wanna get some cheese, little girl? I got cheese. You ready? Oh. Come on. Oh boy. Okay. She said, where's the rest? <laughs> Grace. You sweet girl. You are so silly. Oh, that's looking good. Let's toss this around. Okay, five more minutes. It's one of those light and fresh meals. Yeah, it's this would be, be good with uh, like riced cauliflower yeah. as a side. Yeah. If we had not already eaten stuffed mushrooms, I would have done some type of rice cauliflower or something on the side. But it smells delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is nothing bland about this meal. The Italian seasonings are really coming out. Of course, that that chicken sausage has some good flavor in it too. So yeah, it's, it does. It's definitely helping flavor everything else in there. I love how light it out, like the, the crunchiness of it, right? The crispness of it, the freshness of it. So good. I'm over here eating mm -hmm. while I'm filming y'all. 
Mm. I'm just too hungry. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Like he said, the seasonings are perfect. It's not over seasoned. Mm -mm. It's not bland. It's perfect. Okay, y'all, I've got all of our spices out. I'm going to start with some cayenne pepper. You could always leave this out if you are not into, you know, the hot stuff. But I'm going to use about a half a tablespoon of cayenne. We're going to do a tablespoon of paprika, which is pretty much all I have left. I need to write that on the grocery list. We'll just, there we go. I need a tablespoon of chili powder. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. A half a tablespoon of black pepper, or you could always use some more if you really like yours peppery. Now we need two tablespoons of salt. Three fourths a cup of brown sugar. And then lastly, we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of garlic salt. And the recipe says that you could also add in a teaspoon of cinnamon. I have, I have not done that. That just sounds weird to me. You'll have to let me know if you have done that before. So it does have a good bit of the spices in there, but it has a lot of brown sugar to help calm it down. So it's not just hot. It's like sweet and spicy. We really love these. Okay, so I've got my wings here. I did pat them dry. I'm going to take about half of my spices and pour it into a large Ziploc bag. All right, now I'm going to, it says to spray them with olive oil, but I used this last time and it was just fine. Okay, I'm gonna put about half of them in here and we're gonna coat them really well. And I need to go ahead and preheat my air fryer to 400. I need to let it like warm up for five minutes. Okay, so this just finished preheating. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna spray it with our nonstick spray, our vegetable oil. And let's put our wings in. Okay, so this is gonna go at 400 for 16 minutes, but I am gonna flip them over half the way through. Okay, so it's been about half the time. I wish y'all could smell these. I'm gonna turn them over. Okay, now they're going back in for the rest of the time. Okay, these are done. Yes. And I'm just gonna put them on a plate and tent the plate with some aluminum foil so that they stay warm while I do the second batch. Wait. <laughs> he he I, was about to eat and I was like grabbing my camera as fast as I, I could. I didn't want to wait. Man, I love the spices. You must have some sugar in there. Yeah, it's got brown sugar in there. Yeah, I can taste the brown sugar, just a little hint of that sweetness Yeah, with that spice. So it cuts the spice just a little bit. Yes, and the charring is actually really nice. Yeah. I feel like without the charring, you wouldn't get as much of the flavor. Yeah. So I, I love how these turned out. I'm just amazed that these came out of an air fryer. All right, so this is a winner, huh? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is our, like I mentioned, this is our second time having these wings and y'all, they are so good. You've got to give them a try. Mm -hmm. 